Bonsoir la communauté congolaise. Awa, tu as alerté, tu as bengi, ma maman, on va s'en battre à la gambela. Bazo, on va téléphoner, tu as évité, on va téléphoner pour la ligne. Bazo, on va téléphoner. Ah, on va tout mettre en bela, en bela. On va dire tout mama DJ Cheva. Na mara ba tala cristal. Ba ya go benga ngamba ngu na benga ba mama o ya gambela. Gambela yango ba tumbi yango. Gambela. Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. Uh, on Tuesday morning we woke up to set news that a section of your, the Yovel market uh, has gone up in smoke. It was set alight by suspected members of Operation Tutula, whom we are told that in a group uh, that they run, they were telling each other that they must set the market alight. We remember that last week um, they tried to take over the market from traders there who are mostly from uh, other African countries outside South Africa, but who are renting some stores from South Africans. So they tried to take up uh, over the market, but they were repelled by some locals who came up and protected the migrants and migrants themselves uh, who teamed up with uh, locals and some opposition political parties as well as non-governmental organizations. So they managed to repel Tutula, who came marching and singing, but because they were outnumbered on that particular day, they decided to leave. So it looks like they went and hedged this plan to set the market alight at night so that uh, when the morning dawns, there would be nothing. Fortunately, they did not manage to bend down the whole market, as you can see, but they bent down the southwestern corner of the market, about 20 uh, or less uh, stalls, maybe between 10 and 20 stalls were affected. As you can see, uh, a number of things went up in smoke. We are talking here about uh, avocados, we're talking about uh, vegetables, we're talking here about uh, mealies that were there, they kept there overnight. The roof of the market, of the section of the market which was bent, that is the corner and uh, some parts of it, uh, also blew up in smoke. Uh, the zinc uh, roofing that was there also uh, melted under the smoke, which means that it was heavy fire that was set on the market. Uh, uh, so we do not know what is going to happen are the police uh, having any leads because we are hearing that the operation to Tula members are threatening to go around markets which are uh, operated in by uh, migrants and they are threatening to bend them down because they want these migrants to leave. Uh, you remember that when Operation Tutula first uh, launched, they said that they were targeting crime uh, around the areas where they live. Then it went up and said they are targeting uh, illegal immigrants. They say that they are not going to loot anything, they are not going to destroy every, anything. But now that uh, the sentiments are growing against them, especially by South Africans who are renting out stores, who are renting out their buildings to migrants who give them a monthly uh, rental that keeps them alive, that keeps them uh, managing to put food on the table. Uh, when they realize these people are people that uh, these sentiments are growing and they are losing the fight, especially in trying to turn South Africans against them. They have a this uh, barbaric approach uh, of now trying to bend down or of now bending down stones. They are uh, threatening to even unleash a war against my place. Uh, now, what is worrying a lot is that the government oh, is oh, to be taking a lackadaisical oh, approach oh, oh, as the war stemming before it escalates, before it becomes physical attack on my place, before it results in the looting of property, before it results in the looting of property, before it results in the looting of property, before it results in the 
South Africa also around the African continent and internationally. So we are watching this as it uh, happens. We are trying to set up interviews with those that are affected in the community. We need some of the people who lost their property, who lost their uh, So as we went around the market, uh, some people uh, were still milling around. Even those whose stalls were not affected uh, were hovering in some point of uncertainty because they didn't know if they should open or, or what should happen. There were no police officers at the particular time when we went there, but there were people who were just interested taking videos, others were just checking their stuff. Uh, there were others also uh, who were trying to open their uh, stalls, but still they were uncertain on whether this should continue because uh, they don't know if these threats will be carried out because we are told that uh, Tudula is marching in town. They want